Matt DeBoer will play his 100th AFL game in the club's first home preliminary final this weekend, but the forward says there's a bigger focus this week. It's, uh, it's memorable and, you know, it's probably um, something I'll look back on at memory when it's all said and done and, and be, be pr pretty proud of that, but we've got bigger fish to fry at this stage and it's all about the team this week. Six players still remain from the preliminary side that took on the Swans in 2006 and while DeBoer was still an aspiring footballer, he says the game has changed a lot since then. I was still in high school, so was Fifey, but um, yeah, no, they've got their, that experience on their, sides, but, uh, on their side, but obviously the game's changed heaps since then and we'll be able to um, know, what we, you know what we know now, which is our game plan and the way we go about it and hopefully uh, and use that to our advantage because obviously the teams are significantly different from 2006. Ryan Crowley gave an insight into his greatest tag, playing on a childhood hero. Uh, one of the questions I got asked was off Ella Hartley, and it was, uh, who has been your favourite player to play on? Um, yeah, it was a really good question. So, uh, as a kid, I was a big Collingwood supporter, and I remember in one of my first games I got to run with Nathan Buckley, so that was a bit of a, bit of a thrill and uh, something that I'll always remember. The city of Fremantle are painting the streets purple, literally. The cafe strip was decked out in purple, creating a lot of buzz around the place. Matthew Pavlich's media conference will be live tomorrow from 1pm Western Standard Time, so make sure you tune into the website freemantlefc.com.au.